Hello there, folks. Joe Wazoo here. Uh, today I'm going to talk about how to send out an email or text alert using the new Crimson 3.2 software, which today runs on the DA50 and the DA70 Flex Edge products from Redline. Things are a little bit different in Crimson 3.2 than 3.1. Not much, but a little bit. Uh, first off, of course, in the left, you've got the device configuration section over here. And within the device configuration team, you're going to slide down into the services section. And you're going to click on the SMTP client section over here on the left. Click on that. And then here in the middle of the page, just like in Crimson 3.1, you're going to set up the things from here that you get from your IT department. Now, I took the liberty of uh, copying exactly what I've done in Crimson 3.1 into that section. So if I make this a little bigger and I'll just pause it, giving you a second to analyze the taking from a Crimson 3.1 database, which is over on the right side, and basically copying the same settings into Crimson 3.2. The wording's different uh, from 3.2 than 3.1. I wish they would have followed the same. That would have helped nicely. But uh, anyway, so uh, server name is the IP address I have over here. Port number, of course, I'm using the auth SMTP, so it's still the same, 2525. Login mode here is plain. Back then they called it login. That's different. There's my username. Of course, I had to copy the password from my other. Uh, can't really copy it from here because this field won't let you actually have to go to your notes from there. And then down here, the domain, this part here, uh, there's the domain name that gets there. And then this return address, you have to click on edit here in Crimson 3.1. Let me see if I can click on it. Watch, if I click 3.1 here, this is the approved, at least with the auth SMTP, this is the approved return address there. So that's what I'm using there in that field there. And then uh, I'm not doing anything under the TLS options. Let me go back to Crimson here. I'm not doing anything under TLS. That's all default. And then I go over to Communications on the left. And just like in Crimson 3.1, I go find the section called Services over here. And this is where 3.1, they had all these settings. With 3.2, it's kind of divided up. But in 3.2 here, under Mail Manager, the only thing I really need to worry about here is under List of Contexts, I'll hit that. And of course, I put in some name and then I put in the email address. Or if you want to send a text message, you put in the phone number at whatever provider. So ATT, it's txt.att.com. Or Verizon, it's vtext.com. That's the phone number, area code, phone number, at, and so forth. Matter of fact, you know what? Let me see if I can do this here. So if it was uh, ATT, you know, I'm just going to pick up a phone number here. It would be, if it was at and you do txt.att.net, like that. And maybe over here I'll put down, just for giggles, at and And then if you're using Verizon, I'll just put the name there over here, put the same. By the way, that's my old phone number when I was a kid. I don't know if it's still around. Anyway. So if you're using Verizon, it's V-T-E-X-T dot C-O-M. Ah, I didn't mean to do that. There we go. Okay. And then I think uh, if you're doing T-Mobile, could be wrong, but let me. I think theirs is going to be the uh, same, your phone number. And then I think it's uh, at t mail dot com, I think. t mail for them. But anyway, those are the just examples. And, of course, Team, you can put a semicolon here to add multiple names, but I'll click the OK button down here. And now that I've got that done, if I go to data tags, this application, I have basically a thermocouple connected to this DA70. As a matter of fact, if you look uh, right down here in modules, and I've got a, actually I'm running a PID, but I'm running a Type J thermocouple here for my sensor input. So that data tag right here is connected to that value. Anyway, if I go to the alarms, and if I say, you know what, if I go above 85, let's change this to, say, uh, 86, for instance. 860 is 86.0, and I'll change this to 86F. All right, I've got over here, I'm going to send it to Wazoo. You can pick the other names, but I'll just do that. Again, I'm going to just leave it as automatic. It should send out a message every time. So let me download this to the unit, and then I'm going to open up the web page. Here's the web page for that guy running. And you can see uh, I'm, I actually have 
the two Ethernet ports are used. One is manually connected right here to my laptop, and the other one is connected to my office network here. But anyway, if I go ahead and uh, I'll go ahead and trigger this to go above 86. I'm squeezing the thermocol. Boom, there we go. If I go over to my email, look, I already got a I got messages right there. You see that I've been practicing on this. So these are other messages that came in. One o'clock. Yep. Yep. As it tinkered. So if I I'm not going to show the web browser. I'll just let me go here. So you see it dropped off. I'll go over here to email. I'll leave this up and I'm going to squeeze the thermocouple and see what happens here. I should get some messages in. There we go. Look, there they are dumping. See? So it's that easy, team, to use the email text alert Crimson 3.2. It is a little bit different uh, with the uh, configuration software, that is true, but uh, generally speaking, works pretty good. My biggest problem, I'll just be honest with you guys, <laughs> this is my own silliness. I did all my testing uh, today, and I was using this Ethernet 2, which is directly connected to my laptop. Nothing was happening. I'm going, what is the deal here? Well, then I'm the idiot. I didn't realize that uh, I, I didn't have it connected to my office network. So it really had no way to ever get out. So once I took the Ethernet 1 connection, which is set up as DHCP mode, I connected it to my office network. Then it got an IP address there. And then all of a sudden, all the emails made it out. So that was the biggest challenge is I didn't have it connected to my office network where I could get outside access to the outside world. So just keep that in mind when you're doing your testing. But uh, that should work. If I squeeze it again, I go above 86. You see I got the alarm viewer there. And, of course, if I go over here, it should show, boom, there's the message coming in. So that's uh, in a roundabout way, team, uh, how you can set up email and text alerts in Crimson 3.2 software. And the big thing is uh, basically just copy the settings from here over to 3.2, and you're off the races. Hey, thanks a lot. Have a great day. See you.